Il y a encore Dieu parce que ce n'est pas facile à... Oui.
Great. So yeah, good evening. Yeah, I am. Uh, what else? I'm good. Ah. Oh. So yeah, good evening. Yes, indeed. Thank you for those of you that uh, called me up. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't think I would have woken up. Uh, I'm taking this medication and it makes you drowsy. It really makes you drowsy. You can't just function. Mm. For the first time, I've really felt like medicine, like yaktoa. You can't, uh, you can't even function. Anyway, uh, here we are and uh, I'm grateful that you called me and I'm grateful that you have um, uh, tuned in. Uh, today is a sad, it's a sad day, it's a sad day uh, because things, things are so predictable in one direction. Unfortunately, things are so predictable in one direction. That is, that is uh, the, the, uh, the direction of uh, 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 what I may call democracy uh, decadence, you know, where democracy is is just is just being being taken away, being taken away. It is no longer about um, uh, this one. So let me try to do this. Okay. Whatever. But anyway, so uh, things are just getting worse in terms of our our, of our democracy, and uh, it's not just that uh, I'm just being negative or I'm being bitter. No, I'm not being bitter. I'm not just being negative. I speak from what I am seeing. And what I'm seeing is what anybody who uh, uh, who is objective would see. I'm not creating things. Things are out there. Things are happening, you know. And uh, if you have followed me, I mean, things have just been happening. I would come, I would tell you, this is what is going to happen. And it happens just like that. I hate to be really a, a prophet of uh, doom. Whenever you, whatever I've, I've spoken about has just happened just like that, you know. And I know sometimes when I come out here and I tell you to say, hey, look, this is what is going to happen. I'm sure some of you, you, you are like, ah, I mean, that can't, can't be. 
eh? we were talking about JJ. JJ's story, the way information was coming to me, it just happened exactly just like that. Exactly just like that. Eh? Today we have JJ uh, in, um, in, 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 in prison and uh, a by-election uh, definitely coming uh, in Petauke, you know, either that, that by-election is coming because JJ is locked up there and JJ is not coming out. And you can see how they are, you know, they are so determined. They are so determined. They have no fear of anything. They have no sense of uh, 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 guilt, you know. They don't even have the conscience. Eh? JJ now is he, half a person that is supposed to be a victim, but has found himself in a situation where he is entangled with the, so many legal issues, JJ. So many legal issues. The people that abducted him, they have reported him to the police. So if JJ, by a miracle, by whatever circumstance, JJ would walk out, you would see JJ being arrested by, you know, the people that have reported him. He would be arrested. JJ would be arrested. Eh? He would be arrested by Hamasaka reporting, eh, Nan Kanoyo would be reporting, eh? Nava Sylvia Masebo Nawo. It's criminal recording somebody, uh, recording a conversation with somebody, whatever. I don't know if we, these people do understand what it means to be in public life. I don't know. I don't know what, what it means, what they, what, they, what they understand by being in public life. You can't expect... Uh, you can't expect yourself as a minister going to see a person like JJ and you want to treat it as confidential. You want to go and report somebody for the recording. When you are in public life, everything is for the public consumption. Everything. Everything is supposed to, be, to go into the news. It's supposed to, be, to go into the news. Even your nakedness, if people can have an opportunity of filming it and bringing it to social media, it is part of public life like any year. You don't understand you people. Eh? You people, you, you, because you are so drunk with power, because you are so drunk with power, you forget who a public servant is. A public servant is a public servant. There is nothing private about a public, a public figure. There is nothing. Trust me. There is nothing private about a public figure on you. Nothing. If by mistake, if I can have an opportunity, or if somebody can have an opportunity to film or to record what is happening in my bedroom, they would. They would. And they would throw it on social media and it would be up to people, some people to say, no, this is not part of my consumption. But really you cannot sue somebody to say, no, this was private and whatever, whatever, it's criminal. What? What is criminal about a normal, if a conversation was an innocent conversation, why are you rushing to police? Why are you rushing to police? So, was that conversation, did you swear with JJ to say, you know, uh, I swear by the almighty God that the conversation we are having here shall be uh, private? Uh -huh. Was that a cabinet meeting? Was it a confidential meeting? Going to see a victim who has been abducted, you as a minister of health, Going to see a person who was abducted. Going to see a person who was removed from uh, a private hospital to be brought 
into a military hospital. Into a military hospital. What did you expect of JJ? Did you, did you think JJ was going to trust uh, any of you? Even you, when you were going to see there, did you trust JJ? You people, when you were going to see JJ in that military hospital, you had placed him. You had placed him in the military hospital. Did you think JJ thought you trusted him? Did you trust JJ by putting him in a military hospital? Because let's 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 be realistic here. Let's be realistic. Eh? Let's be realistic. Who is a victim here? Who is a victim here? Eh? You people, you are rushing to the police to report JJ. Eh? You are rushing to the police to report JJ. Why are you rushing to, 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 to report to the police? Who is supposed to be reporting who to the police? Who was kidnapped in the first place? Who was abducted in the first place? Who was put in a place which he did not agree to? JJ did not agree. JJ did not go into that hospital willingly. He didn't. You forced him there. Did you think JJ was going to trust you people after? Ah, this is the problem with people. Uh, no, me, I'm, I'm already lying. Oh, when when is that? So, so uh, we we have it uh, when uh, what time what time okay okay tomorrow okay 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 noted noted okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't I couldn't re resist uh, uh, taking that call because it's uh, one of um, one of uh, one of uh, one of my people. Um, so anyway, the point I'm trying to say is that you people, mwebale kutukira kuya kukoti, mwebale kutukira kuya kuma polisi, to report JJ. I'm wondering, who should report who? Because number one, JJ was abducted. You people abducted JJ. JJ is found, uh, after to abhika ka pressure, you release JJ. You release JJ, JJ comes out and uh, you know, he comes out tortured and you realize that he, you are going to be exposed if he's put in a public hospital. So, you force your way to put him Munankani, military hospital. From there, you start going there. Eh? 
after JJ comes out and mentions your names, you, uh, you start panicking and wanting to change the statement that he made. That's why you were going there. You were not going there to see JJ. You were going there to convince JJ to give a statement other than what he had said. And you were trying to negotiate that if he gives something different, why you kept JJ is because you don't want JJ's story to be told, you know, in, in 3D. You don't want JJ's story to be told in 3D. Because what we are hearing, we, we are just hearing this and that, this and that. If JJ had an opportunity, JJ would have had, you know, a, maybe a press conference. Maybe JJ would have spoken the way I'm doing. But you didn't want that. And you made sure that you didn't give him that opportunity. You made sure we, did, we didn't know the, the, the full extent of JJ's torture. That's why you took him in a military hospital. And there you start negotiating with him. And the guy, you know, stands his ground. Stands his ground. And he exposes you. After he exposes you, now you go and start reporting him to the police. Now you start reporting him to the police. Why did you go there, Bamasebo? Why did you go there? Honestly, you people with your with your callousness, hmm? with your callousness, with your evil heartedness, did you go for the good of JJ? You do you want to cheat us that you went there for the good of JJ? Did you go there for the good of JJ? You went there to save your interests. You are the Lucifers in this scenario. You are the people that cannot be trusted, not JJ. Not JJ. And JJ, whichever way uh, that was done, the recording was done, it was to save JJ. JJ was protecting himself. JJ was protecting himself. That's why you are upset that he's exposing you. If JJ had said something else that was in your interest, you would have been the ones to release the conversations. Maybe that those recordings, how do we know? Maybe those recordings were even done by yourselves. Maybe those recordings were even done by yourselves. Maybe, if not yourselves, but I'm sure even yourselves, you had done some recordings. Which, if JJ, imagine Wamasebo, when you went there and JJ told you Wamasebo, imagine, if JJ had come out and said, no, actually, uh, Honorable Minister, what I said was a lie. Eh? It is not uh, Hamasaka and, uh, uh, and Levi Ngoma who abducted me. I was just uh, uh, lying. You think you would have kept quiet? Wouldn't we have had a recording from yourselves to say this is what JJ said? Wouldn't we have had that recording? We would have had that recording. But we don't have that recording circulating in the media because JJ stood his ground. You are the bad people. You didn't go there to see JJ. You went there to implicate JJ. You went there, you know, to break JJ. And JJ, in those circumstances, surely he had the right to protect himself. So there is nothing criminal that you can talk about to say it's criminal. It's criminal. No. No. From that point of view, no. And then secondly, you also have to know that when you are public figures like yourselves, you can't expect anything to be private you can't there is nothing private especially going to see a person like that one why did you go private why why do you want to make it private why do you want to make it a secret why are you upset why are you upset if it is just you know i mean don't you like it eh? isn't it what you people like you people in the public when you are doing something uh, uh, something noble. Don't you like it on cameras? Eh? 
such a noble gesture. Don't you like it? You like it? You like it? Since when do you hide when you're doing something noble? You want everybody else to see. You want anyone to hear what you, what you discussed if you're doing something noble. You only become upset when what you are doing is evil. Then you become upset. But when you're doing something good, you like it. You like it. You like it on camera. You like it recorded. If you have if if from a bad place in your hearts, that's when you want it to hide. And that's why you are going to the police. Behold, next you will be following people to say you circulated this on social media. Why were you circulating it? Eh? Behold, it will come to that. But look, I am talking about how our democracy has been compromised. How there is no justice in our country. A person abducted and this person ends up being ensnared with so many cases around him. JJ can't come out of, you know, those, those, those cases. He can't come out. He can't come out. You have given him aggravated robbery, uh, aggravated robbery. You have given him now these cases. I don't know what you call them. I know you bring in sedition. You want them as sedition. Eh? You bring in criminal libel, whatever. The guy, the guy is nowhere. JJ is finished. JJ is finished and some idiots wants to tell me, hey, come back home, come and fight home. Honestly. If a guy who was abducted, if a guy who appeared at a point, at a, uh, at a verge of death, can be thrown in my cells, eh? and you come and start embarrassing him, hey, he has got three, wives, three, wives, three wives here, hey, they are sisters here, hey, he has got something protrude, protrude, protruding from the whatever, whatever. Honestly, was all that necessary? But just to make JJ look bad, this is how callous you people are. You are really so bad, you people. You are really so bad. So I told all that. I'm afraid to tell you that I told you that, and actually, it's even worse than what I anticipated. I'm sure even you, when I was saying this, the very folk child, they, they want to charge JJ. Some of you didn't believe me. Some of you didn't believe me. But no, they have not only charged JJ, they have even created other cases against him. They even went there. I, I didn't know about this. They even went there to convince JJ. Tabukawana went there. The, the, that other guy from the, from the Ministry of Home Affairs went there. Even the minister went there. That's how bad you people are. And this is not something that Shudfatayari is creating from the head. You may hate Shudfatayari, no, tayari, tayari, tayari. But the point is, these things are actually happening. With or without Shudfatayari, with or without direct talk, where Shudfatayari is talking about it. And you are just not happy about me being out here and talking about these things. That's why you want me. You really want me. You want me bad. You really want me. You want me bad. But you know, they so quam. That's why I'm here. Because there has to be somebody to tell you. I would not be able to tell you if I were in the country. I wouldn't. I would not be able to tell you if I were in prison. Like some fools say, no, just come back here, hey, whatever, whatever. No, you are foolish. Whoever says, no, come back here, come back here, you are a fool. You are a fool. And, you know, it's out of my goodness that in there I could change. Otherwise, I would insult you, insult you, insult you together with your ancestors. But, Lisa Wandi, I'm telling you, some of you will say, no, 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 you don't know God, you don't know God. 
Let me, I know God. I have a good relationship with God. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking like this. Ngande mi tukafi. Ngande mi tukafi. Ero kutukana. Hey. Na di kuishba na kuri de mastriti nega. Na kuri de mustrit. Ngande mi tuka. I'm out yet. I'm not going to But I censure. I still remain. I still remain, you know, uh, good. There are a lot of things that come my way, and but when I, whenever I come to talk, I talk with responsibility. I talk with responsibility. Eh? I told you, we have now the issue of our Edgar. I told you here. I said it. That our judges who go na kawo wa bari muchibe, they have to deliver. And they have to deliver to the satisfaction of our deos. They have to deliver according to the uh, to bar. They have to deliver according to what Haka in the HDMI wants. And today Haka in the HDMI is, is popping champagne. Na wuchei choda wakwe. He's popping champagne. He is happy, he's comfortable. His plan is succeeding. Na panondela nda wale tamba no kutamba. Kutamba kwe na wale tamba. Kutamba wale tamba. Mule tamba na guapa. But they are just saying, you stay there. We are succeeding. We are winning. They are triumphant today. They are triumphant because they have put their train on the rails. On the rails going one direction. And this rail is going nowhere but to a destination where they don't want Edgar Chagalungu on the ballot. They don't want Edgar Chagalungu on the ballot. What happened today was a train, you know, which is not on the rails. They were making the rails and we were hoping that, you know, we, we will frustrate them from making this rail and putting the train there. But they made the rail and they have managed to bring the train and put it on the rail. And this train is going. But it's not going, it's not going too fast. It is going, it will go slow until 2026. Until 2026. And in 2026, at the right time, when they will decide, they will say Edgar Lungu is not eligible. They will say Edgar Lungu is not eligible. It's not going anywhere else. It's not. Apaya ingira apa. Teti mive. Apaya ingira. Apa idea kuna nikane ku destination ya kwa Edgar Lungu is not eligible. It can never go any other way. Because if they had any sense of uh, justice, today this, this case wouldn't have been put on the rails and flagged to start moving. They wouldn't. What they have done today, they have put the train on the rails. They are, they are, they are building uh, trains and rails, you know, to, to carry people, to ease transport in their country. By UPND, they are making a rail to go and destroy democracy. That's what they are doing. That's what they are doing. That case today wouldn't have gone anywhere. But by the very fact that they are put on the rail, and by the way, it was a unanimous decision. No dissenting. No dissenting. All the judges agreed because which judge would refuse? Which judge would refuse? Muliba Ed Galungu, Kwale Wakona, Kwale Wakona dissenting. Bamunarula Vale Chitako dissent because, you know, Bali Shivoko at least Muli democracy. Muliba Aka in the HD Mokutu at dissent. Eh? Kuliba Lungu, Kwale Wako dissenting. So, na Fikawa, na Fikawa. People were able to dissent, to say, no, I don't agree. And they are still there. Kuli Aka in the HD. You dissent. My Ronishnava Kutuara Kona and Kali. Judicial Complaint Commission, where, I mean, the friends of Haka Inde HDM are sitting waiting for you. Since Haka Inde HDM came into power, I think we have lost about four or five judges, 
four or five judges within this short time eh, in the history of Zambia go and check how many judges we have lost within within uh, a period of two years within a period of two years I think we lost about four judges four judges I'm sure uh, if you count I'm sure we have lost about four judges within two years four judges gone so which judge has got courage now to come up and dissent once I unanimously agreed no we must hear this matter they are not hearing nothing they are hearing nothing they know the judgment the judgment is already written the judgment is already written there is nothing that they are hearing whatever they will just be sitting there watching waiting to say when are you going to finish and the more they will talk about the more they avena makebi will be talking the more they will even like it because it will it will fit in their agenda to prolong this case so number one this case has been set on the rail to into one direction how has it been set on the rail like i was trying to explain to you that this matter was settled it is very clear the eligibility case was settled you can bring it this way that way that way that way it was settled it was settled and where you know you're talking about no the previous constitution the new constitution the last uh, uh, judgment did touch on that it did touch on that it did explain clearly about that we don't even need to go there and start discussing. We'll just be wasting our time. The matter was adjudicated upon. And since it was adjudicated upon, they were going to throw it away to say, this case was already heard. We cannot open it. But they have opened it, meaning to say, no, they are, they are, you are raising a, a contentious issues. Eh? Which contentious issues? You are raising contentious issues which we would like to hear. Which contentious issues, apart from the fact that, I mean, this matter was already decided. What can be brought in? What fresh evidence, eh? what fresh contentious issues can be brought in which were not brought in in the previous uh, cases? There is nothing. There is nothing. It is just because they want to achieve this, uh, that agenda. So that's the first thing. They want, there is no two words about it. Don't think whichever, no, this way and that way. No, 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 no. Takuli. Echo wa sumi ni noko watu. Yumula andu. Uwe kere muko tiba tampo kurugulula. Nicho wa lefo yo kwe wati. Edgar lungu wa mchinge. Echo wa, echo wa chitirefi. Tapali fimbi yo. Tapali fimbi. Ngakambeko na mchinyanja so that vena ngu vambereko Vavomere za kuti murandu uyambe mkoti futi Chifuko wazi wa kuti palasti Bafuna Edgar Lungu wa Sankarepo pa, 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 pa ballot paper That's why There is no any other way Don't cheat yourselves There is no any other outcome other than that Other than that, now there are those that we are talking about. Uh, um, what is the implication of this? Eh? What is the implication of this? Certainly, if they rule that Edgar Lungu was uh, was he ineligible to contest the 2021 general elections, it simply means the elections that elected and consequently made Haka Inde Ishlema to be president after swearing in as president was illegal. And anything illegal, whatever comes out of it, is illegal. If that election, what basically that young man is saying, not actually that young man, what, Haka, what uh, uh, UPND are saying is that 2021 elections were illegal. That's in, put it, summarize it. 
you can put it in whichever english whatever whatever you can be smart but in a plain language in a plain language what that young man is saying or what upnd is saying through that young man is that the 2021 general election was illegal that's what he's saying now if it was illegal it means that whatever came out of that is illegal even Haka Inde Ichilema being president is illegal. Even Haka Inde Ichilema appointing uh, ministers and so on and blah blah and blah blah is illegal. It's tantamount to treason. Because when you assume presidency, eh? Mumfu Ikishevu no wino sanapa. When you assume presidency, you take over power illegally. There is no any other charge other than treason. That's what it means. It means Haka in the Hichirema is treasonous. It means Haka in the Hichirema is treasonous. If indeed that election was illegal, it means Haka in the Hichirema is treasonous. And a lot of people would be dragged into it, will be charged for treason. It is illegal. Assuming power illegally is treason. Assuming power is treason. So, these are the, some of the implications that are, are, are coming out of, of this nonsense. But they don't realize because they know that, I mean, they are comfortable, they are holding power, they are controlling everything. But what, sim what this simply means if the if what you PND is saying that the elections were illegal, it means Haka in the is illegal. The appointing of his cabinet is illegal. Everything that they have been doing is illegal. That's what it means. That is what it means, simple and straightforward. If the 2021 general election was illegal, it means Haka in the is illegal. Whatever they have been doing is illegal. The ministers are illegal. It means we have to go back to the general elections. We have to go back to the general elections. That's what it means. But look, some of you, you might be getting excited that, no, then Chawa Makanjing and if it were to my elections, they are not foolish. At least they are cunning in this respect. They will not declare that this election was illegal, 2021 election was illegal, they will not declare it tomorrow. They will not declare it uh, next year, 2025. They will not. They will make sure they declare it at a time when the tenure of Haka in the HDMI is finished. That's when they will declare. So don't even get excited to say, no, catch to get to my elections. No, they will not declare it tomorrow. They will not. They will only declare it at the last minute. At the last minute, that's when they will declare. And once they declare that, they will say, but well, uh, so, he will say, no, he will say, no, he general elections. And we'll go to the general elections. Ed Galungu will not be on the ballot, and that is that would be their achievement. That would be their achievement. So this is what it means, my brothers and sisters. I'm saying it as it is. I'm saying it as it is. Now, if this is what if this is what is obtaining, what hope do we have? By the fact that Vachita succeed there, what will stop them from succeeding at the end of the day to give that verdict to say Edgar Lungu does not qualify? What will stop them? You saw the police officers that they brought. You saw the police officers that they brought. I thank God that, you know, it was peaceful. Otherwise, today we would have been talking of something else. But they were not recruit. You saw the recruit. You saw the Sondela. They were there. They would do the same thing. They would do the same thing. 
uh, at the end of the day. They will do the same thing. So what hope do we have? What hope do we have? I would, I would not lie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I wish I could talk more about that. But I don't want, you know, just because I'm out here, I don't want to be seen to be irresponsible. Because when everything fails, when everything fails, when all the legal means fails, I mean, the only option that remains is things that, uh, you know, we, I cannot be talking about here. I cannot be talking about here. We are doomed. We are doomed. We are stuck with Haka in the HDM. We are stuck with Haka in the HDM. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Whilst they were celebrating Ukukusaiji about what they have done in Kuri Edgarungu, they are also, they, they remember the, the, the members of parliament, the nine, nine members of parliament. Remember the, mind, the nine members of parliament. Tuavika pona JJ 10. Tuavika pona Munia 11. Pani Munia Ndarande, if you will see what is going to happen to Munia Zoo. You will see what is going to happen to Munia Zoo. I talk about Munia because I know their intentions. I know their intention on Munia Zoo. I know their intention on on uh, on uh, on uh, Munia Zoo. Eh? Binwo is also within reach. I'm sure when they are, when they succeed, you cook side you cook. Binwo will be next. Binwo, valem fwa. They want Binwo. They also want Binwo. They want Binwo. They want. Uh, 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 Lucas Nakonde mm -hmm. they have targeted people they, they, who they want they know who they want they want to make sure that they are, they, they, those voices are not there that's why they also want me because they know this is another problem that's why they are doing everything that they can to get me So whilst we are doing all that, the nine members of parliament, they have declared the seats vacant. Irrespective of the fact that, because what was on the ground, those seats were not supposed to be declared vacant. And again, here I want you to follow me. <laughs> those seats were not supposed to be declared vacant. Why were they not supposed to be declared vacant? They were not supposed to be declared vacant because they are still in court. It is not true what Moyo said to say they were not in court. It is not even Moyo. Moyo was just reading that statement. But what the speaker said or what Haka in the HDMA said that they were not in court, it is not true because a matter was filed on Friday. A matter was filed on Friday, so it was in court. By the time Moyo was, was reading uh, that ruling, the matter was already in court. And the rule, the, their, own judge, their own ruling, Yawa speaker, and according to the law, according to the law, you cannot, throw, you cannot declare a seat vacant when it is still in court. You can't. But evidence is there. It's not that Chirifatayari is saying this. Uh -uh, evidence is there. Documentation is there, you will see it. Bah. They filed a matter. They filed it on Thursday. On Friday, they saved it on Parliament. So they had, they had the documentation. On Friday, they, they saved them. Monday was a holiday, Tuesday was a holiday. Wednesday, that is when Parliament sat. So by the time they were coming to read that statement, they already had 
the uh, documents from the courts to say this matter is before court. They knew that. So it was illegal, number one, on that. Number two, I told you that what comes in parliament is what is, it is what is uh, on the order paper. Things don't just fly into parliament in like a housefly going into a toilet. No. No. Things don't just fly in Galunish. In parliament, there is what is called the order paper. According to the standing orders, parliament has got rules, and those rules are enshrined in what they call standing or standing orders. Or, and so on standing orders, I think Article 52, I stand to be corrected, clearly says that whatever is going to be brought before the floor of the house must be on the order paper. And the order paper cannot be amended two hours before the business of parliament starts. It has to be before two hours. And members of parliament ought to know that this is what we are going to debate. So if something just comes up from nowhere, I even told you that even if you, when a president dies, eh, parliament is sitting and the president dies on the road, they cannot debate it. It cannot come into parliament. They can only adjourn it and then later on bring it on the order paper. You see even when the president is visiting, is coming, is going to the National Assembly to make it parliament, you, you see the vice president standing up to say, I'm proposing that the president comes and addresses us. And they'll put it on the order paper. Even a visiting president, when those visiting visitors, president who come to address, recently we had the president of Mozambique. That had to be put on the order paper. But that issue was not on the order paper. It was an afterthought. It was pressure when Haka Inde Ichirema phoned Waneri Muti. Where are you, Waneri Muti? I'm in Angola. You are in Angola, but me, I want these seats to be declared vacant. They have to be declared vacant. And we have to make sure that uh, uh, Stella Mawonga, Maureen Mawonga, Maureen Mawonga is not the, ah, that's not Maureen Mawonga, sorry. Uh, Munenga Kampamba is not declared the leader of opposition. Two things that they didn't want that day. They didn't want Maureen, Maureen Kampa, uh, uh, Munenga Kampamba to be declared leader of opposition. And they wanted to make sure that uh, Brian Munduvira and his friends, Yavena Kampiongo, they are out of parliament. Under the command of Haka Inde Ishirema, Baneri Muti phoned phoned Moyo and they, they, they told those people to start typing that, uh, uh, that ruling. And rulings usually come, you know, just before parliament starts. But that one came after tea and it was not on the order paper. These things are real. These things are real. They are there. You can see them. You can see the order paper of that day. And after tea, after 16 hours, that's when Moyo uh, read out that ruling without being on the order paper. The amendments to the order paper came later, came at 18 hours. But it doesn't happen like that. You, you don't put something on the floor of the house and then later on amend the order paper. No, you don't. And these things are factual. You can argue with me and whatever, whatever, but these things are stubbornly apparent. Not suddenly apparent, stubbornly evident. Documented. So, that was illegal. That is another issue. It is illegal. So, from there, after Havachita Ntwankane, Havachita declared vacant Ntwankane, immediately, they wrote to ECZ. They wrote to ECZ. On Wednesday, Vajsta declared. On Thursday in the morning, ECZ was in receipt that these seats are vacant. And 
ECZ and they wanted ECZ to announce the date of the elections on Friday. Unfortunately, ECZ, for whatever reason, I'm sure they are trying to they, they, they are trying to, to clean up their house to make things look okay, eh, to prepare themselves. They couldn't announce on Friday. But the those who those MPs whose seats were declared vacant, they went to court. They went to court to challenge now the speaker and uh, and ECZ to challenge them because to say this is illegal what you have done here is illegal it is not true that we didn't have a court action in in, in court it's there it was there it was not true and then it is illegal because it was not on the order paper so they went to court to the high court so that you know there can be a judicial review and with that action by these members of parliament, it meant that the, those nine are supposed to be in parliament until their matter is adjudicated upon. Until their matter is adjudicated upon. Once the matter is adjudicated upon, that is when they can go ahead. Either they go out or whatever. But as long as there is a matter challenging that, they are supposed to be in parliament. As long as there is a matter in court challenging that declaration, they are supposed to be in parliament. But what happened? This judge, because when they receive those whatever, the judge in charge must allocate the case. When you file in, what happens in court? When you go to court, you file in your case. The case is received. And then later on, it goes to the judge in charge. By high court. Why court? It goes to the judge in charge. The judge in charge decides who hears this matter. He may decide, he may allocate it to himself, or he may allocate it to another judge. But this action was thrown in in court on Friday. Very urgent. As you know, this is a, these are serious matters of national interest. Very urgent. But the judge in charge, by the name of uh, Charles Zulu, eh, by the name of Charles Zulu, this judge could not allocate this matter. By Friday, they could not allocate this matter. Okay, fine, you can say Friday, that's when they pushed it in. But yesterday, they didn't allocate it. Yesterday, today is Tuesday. Yesterday, by yesterday, cases like this one, would have been allocated. And one would argue to say, no, 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 you are, you are, you are being sensational. We saw when they, were, when they were taking over PF, when Mao Sampa, when they were giving uh, Mao Sampa the case, we saw how, they, uh, how they, were, uh, they were acting. They were acting on supersonic speed. Supersonic speed. And by the way, agent matters Agent matters, you need to know these citizens. Agent matters, you can go and wake up a judge. At 02, if there is an agent matter, you can go, bang and a judge, you knock. 02, and the judge would wake up in his pajamas and you read those matters of agents. This has happened in the history of our country. It has happened. Judges have signed documents in the, in the middle of the night. So a matter like this one, which involves nine representatives of people, this is a matter of agents. There is no way a judge would ignore it. Eh? Would ignore it. But of course, as I was in my, uh, uh, when I spoke about it, because now the pressure was, the plan was that, the plan was that uh, Judge Charles Zulu does not uh, allocate the matter or hear the matter so that uh, as is the daddy, ECZ would have come in to, to, to announce the date of nomination. Mamona, 
Once they announce the date of nomination, meanwhile, Bajaj Bari Waya Waya Kono. Nominations would go in. Whilst Bajaj, you know, prikiti prikiti prikiti, the Bari Waya Waya, a man nomination is yangira. Once a man nomination is yangira, that's it. You can't stop it unless one of the candidates withdraws. Other than that, other than that, it's only the court that can come in to stop. So, what they wanted is, they want the judge, you know, the court to delay. ECZ quickly announces the date of nominations. Nominations happens, by-elections go in. And, of course, uh, Chipenzi, you know, the guru in elections, who knows very well about rigging and everything, together with the Zalomes, they would come in and declare whoever they want to be members of parliament. Declare whoever they want, not that they win. Ama elections ya Muzambia nomba, upu wa Zalome Swaishida, na chipenzi na vambina vambina, uyune wa atina ni katushika, atinga ni katushika ni kasaro. Epo vaishida. They are not there to conduct elections. They are there to make people representatives of the people. They are the ones who chooses. Nothing else. Forget about the free and fair elections. Forget. They choose who goes to who goes who get who gets selected. So that is that was the plan. And it is still there. Although, of course, I've heard that. Uh, uh, the case has been allocated to uh, Judge Wanjelani. I think I was sleeping, but somebody called me and because they saw what I had posted on social media. So somebody called me and told me, no, uh, but I had, that case has been allocated to Judge Wan Wanjelani. So it will be heard tomorrow. It will be heard tomorrow, but when, it, when they are hearing, the judge, upon hearing this matter, we should be able to see those members of parliament back in, back in parliament. Because there is no way they should be out of parliament when the matter is being looked at, when the matter is in court. As long as the matter is in court, it acts as a stay to whatever uh, consequence of that declaration. So tomorrow, when Judge Wanjelani is hearing, we believe that she's going to give directives that those members of parliament should go back to parliament until the matter is sorted out. There shouldn't be any other way because there is good evidence here. Good evidence, evidence of that, look, uh, 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 number one, the speaker said the case is not in court. There is evidence that the case was in court. There is evidence that that, uh, that ruling was not supposed to be done on that particular day because it was not on the order paper, according to as prescribed by the standing orders of parliament. So the evidence is overwhelming. The evidence is overwhelming. And really, if we have justice, if we have an ounce of justice, if we have an ounce of justice, we should see those members of parliament going back to parliament. We should see them going back to parliament because it was illegal. We should be able to see a judgment that will say, no, this was illegal. Can these members of parliament go back? We should see that. Meanwhile, we have the issue of Mao Sampa also, where some these small uh, uh, these small chaps are claiming now they are presidency of PF, and this uh, other fool is claiming to be the secretary general of PF. That is another matter that I will discuss on another day. For tonight, I've discussed three issues. And I want us to, to debate on this one. Number one, the issue of JJ. Who is supposed to be a victim? Who is supposed to report who to the police? Why is JJ now 
turning out to be a victim, turning out to be a criminal that should be reported by a, you, you know, a, a, a cadre of uh, government officials. And yet, his claims are not being looked at. Number two, we have set a train going to a destination where Edgar Lungu will be declared ineligible to contest another election. Number three, we have members of parliament who were illegally removed from parliament, purporting that there was no case in court and yet there was a case in court. And the matter was not right before the floor of the house. It was not properly brought before the, the house, following the standing orders. These are the issues that we have. I will allow you to call in and give your views, because otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm feeling very bad. So, Kuti, you, you are free to call in and, uh, and give your contributions. But I just want to to be clarified. Mm. I remember was this in PF mm. where members of parliament were made to pay because they were in parliament illegally. Mm. Now, if the presidency is um, said that um, Mr. Lungu uh, is not eligible to stand and they declare maybe the the presidency vacant for our current president. Mm. So it means he's been holding the office illegally, right? Yes. It now, is. what Definitely. happens to the people that he has appointed? All of them. And him as a president. All of who them. Who pays for whatever they have done? So All what of them. They, so are they also going to pay back the money for holding the office illegally? My, That's what my I want neighbor, to know. My neighbor. My neighbor, yes. two things on that one. Yes. Yes, since you have yes. spoken about the money, yes, they are supposed to give back the money. It is exactly what happened to Edgar Lungu. It's, just, it's the same thing, that we have that precedence. But more than that, it is the decisions that they have done. Forget even about the money. The money is not even important. It is the decisions they have made. They have made executive decisions. Decisions that have... Okay. Uh, change the course of direction of our country, change the, the course of mm -hmm. uh, direction of uh, our policies. They have signed contracts. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, imagine uh, we have a company and somebody is illegally employed, eh? illegally employed. Yes. He will even enter, then he goes and signs a contract with another company. Mm. And then Palace must start discover that no, 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 actually that person that signed this contract, Wawuf, is illegal. Will that uh, uh, contract stand? You see what I mean? You see no. how complex it is? Yeah. It is serious. It, it is, is quite serious. complex. Because you yes. know what? It's, it's a serious one because I'm looking at illegal and, and the money involved. I don't know. I'm trying to learn the constitution of Zambia, actually. It's, it's very, very tense. No, it's very serious. It's very serious. But they don't care yeah, about this. Serious. They don't care about this because they know they are not going to declare this tomorrow. They will declare it at a time when we will have nothing to do. We will have nothing to do. But even then, doesn't it have a legal complication? It legal has. It has, unfortunately. Legal complication. It has, unfortunately. The Epal and Danda. You know, I've said it before, that in Zambia, politics comes first before the law. That These situations will only uh, follow these people if a government change. Definitely when the government will change, these things will follow them. 
these things will follow them, no doubt, if a government changes. Especially if you have a person that is ruthless, he will smoke these people. <laughs> he will smoke these people, I don't know. <laughs> America, and he will smoke their asses. <laughs> But <laughs> thank you, my neighbor. Okay, neighbor, good evening. Yeah. I'm telling you, these matters, these are serious matters, I'm telling you. These are serious matters. These are serious matters that would follow everyone, that they would not in jail if they are not careful. <laughs> Hello? President Third, my woman. I am Kama woman. I am Kwan. If you plan the party, if you are quite a good band, a fine village to go and to our, a monogram to a Trusha Sana. About show President G. Yain Dwalanda G. Citizen arrest. Teti won't be our one to our quite a fine, a fine, a massacre once our Monica and to JJ Bandarum. Yet today, one buffet in a citizen arrest, the Kalva police to our Vega to our Konga and Pama and Daya, which Tin Tangombe, to the Amkula Vega for them. Hello, Mara Tora, the Monata, party for the party to a Fimonga to Aikara, Fizzi, above and Fion Savarit Tikisha, the Mamon. To my court, you are a Tikish, Montuam Stab Dakti, Ero Futuamba Rokram Tikisha, Pumina and Dura Shimbishua. Then the Monafuena Zambia and Fuen de Monacati, not Kuala Lasana to Aliquato Muenso, Avavan to since were police to Valeve Cata, to Ambiokula Conca, to I mad ni constitutional right, yes, to I mad citizen arrest, to I am we cut to Amdin Tanga in Papolis, to Am to Alanga, Yamasa, Gani Living Gomanga, Nimwinde, Gavena Kawana, once our two Amkula Vecata for them. Panto Avan to Alat Fusha. Hello, Paddy Inshua, Gibility of a President Edgarun, when I from Alondola. Nena uko visana. Number last option. Nangwe for tuinga chita kutu achita shani watari. Pantu apa matu waku makoti. Fionsi hawa ntu wale nyantiri. Wale wale defender fionsi. Mwamon. Apa futi kulikesi ya kwa mausamba. Fionsi hifu waka mbo kula nyantia. So kutitu achita shani inga vikala chalo. She kutu wa mbo kula kukula wakon kama judges na vena. Pantu le mwana wabwa ntu wale tutikisha sana mchalo chesu. Fionsi hile enda ferait kuli vena. Nende kongo mesha fia vena zambia. To Ilala San, I sent to Katane. If you want to feel a tree of one, you have to feel a ticket of Paddy Jay, and I'm going to feel some ticket. I sent to him a number to Ambukulam Kulave, Katafetova Conca Pamanda. One second to Mikala Kuntuma, she woke with Caravena living Goma. Why I sat watched our organizing, and he wants to have PF to Ima to Amukonka Panga and to Amukata, so that they are alone to over to our police at two months, JJ Banda Landa to you, they watch Trefine, no over police motor party from Rechita, so to Amulet to you. Na JJ Kamrete ni apa tunfu eri ya shifintu ya bari ya vashani. So ya sentu ika tanefuwewe kala chano na ngula wa PF wonsi. Tu wambi ukula fikonke fikondo pa maa ndavo. Tule fika tatu wa fituwala kupolisi. Na tuwe tila watahani. Mwala nja suka pari fintu na alani. Atu wala chitashani. What are we going to do as citizens? Amaka ya wakubandu. Amaka ya wakubandu. Power belongs to the people. They, 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 all these people who are wielding power, this power comes from you people. So it's up to you people to, to it's you to, to decide. It's you to decide. It's not me to decide. It's you people to decide. Are you going to continue with the, these people whilst they wield this power to disadvantage you, to make you suffer even more? Because we do. Is we should be grappling with the issues of Minimil now. We should be grappling with the issues of fertilizer. We should be grappling with the issues of, uh, you know, employment. We should be grappling with the issues of imitim with patal and so on and so forth. But now, our concentration on Ife Kumakoti, Ife Kumingarato. Ife Kumingarato. Is this what we elected the, the UPND for? Mm. Is this what we elected the UPND for? And surely... Uh, people should never be hopeless. People should never be hopeless. People should never be hopeless. Uh, people always have an, have an option. People always have an option. They have an option. We have an option. Uh, the issue is, I mean, are we taking that option? 
are we looking to say what is it that we can do are we engaging in doing that otherwise dictators dictators are made dictators by the people it's the people that make people that make these leaders dictators by allowing them to do whatever they want hello 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 munishan I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to I'm calling from Russia. From? Hello? 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 I'm going Yes, I'm calling from Russia. Okay. Dead mother, I'm going to go to Avena Zambia vre moneka kwa tinon sta baba wiki mule mona ubukali ba ali ba keke wa face president but bali sa talala ku vena Zambia fe ba mine insta ya wa ji mo lomba ino insta ba haka ite ba ba shani na makoku ta ave kala jalo she vena Zambia ta ba ba ko na ngu fi chi fi sume ba ba haka ite ba le chita pa kulati tiki shavani special case ya ba banda I did Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Like I've said, power belongs to the people. Power belongs to the people. Hakainde Chilema can only do these things if the Zambian people allow it. They are doing these things because they know Zambian people we will allow it. Otherwise, they will not be able to do this. They will not be able to do this. And they will do more. If it and then that no shall more akaba more. You might think that no, these things are happening, they're only happening to uh JJ Banda, they're only happening to Edgar Lungu, they're open happening to you know the nine members of parliament, they are only happening to Jirufatayadi, they're only happening to Munia Zulu, they're only happening to Binwa Mpundu. These things they spread and soon some of you watching right now you will be affected you'll be victims of these situations of some of these situations there are many ways that dictatorship you know manifests itself negatively and impacts on the lives of the zambian of of, of the citizens there are many ways you lose jobs you don't have money. Mm -hmm. It's sad. It's really, really sad. But like I said, I'm not feeling very well. So, allow me. Hello? Mujan, I'm president. Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going president. I think he's in Kuli weakness ku kupati ya PF because uh, like umwenso uambile kuli kuambile pe kuli wa secretary general wanakachinda and the other people they are all they are all quiet and they are not giving proper direction even when you want to attack there's no need for you to even inform to inform the people to say, oh, we have received a lot of petition from our councillors, mayor, they only want to do the mass resignation. For what? Because like that, you are putting their lives now in a compromised state and in danger because they are now all being followed up. The best thing to do is just let that action happen and then you, you move on. You know? Now, when you are preempting such statement by making case briefings, as if you are, I don't know who you are trying to arrest, you know. Like this, it's them who are failing us Zambians, because they are supposed to, it's them who are failing uh, the members of, of the party. They are supposed to give direction on what's supposed to be done, not just keeping quiet. A lot of things have happened. Started with a bomb and with some now just wait. No, let's wait, let's wait for the court process. Even now, the issue of the ECA or the two believing to say the courts can help, how are they going to help? Mm. 
We know the direction. So there's no need to. This time, time, the time for action, not time for rhetoric or going to court. Me, I personally, it's not share most of time even going to the court to say we are going to petition. To do. We have clearly seen to say there is no one who is for the opposition here. The courts are for the UPND, the police are for the UPND. Whether you do like my previous scholar who do do a citizen arrest, arrest them, take them to which police? Which police is going to accept them? Because you arrest them, you take them to the police. It is you, people who are going to be arrested, then they will leave. Mm. So the whole everything in this country is dead. Just supposed to do just action, that's all. But who is supposed to give direction for the action? Even you saw even those of us on there who were there. Go to my police officers. How many were they? And those, and those police officers uh, managed to 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 to, to, to displace or beat up or the supporters just for PF here in Osaka. But you see, the PF supporters who were nowhere there, and they hid to the direction to say, "No one should go to the Bini," and they were told, "Don't come here for what?" Anyway, to another people who are there for the direction, we just keep looking as well. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Hello, good evening, Mr. Tag. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Hello? Hello, yes, yes I, can, I can hear you. I've actually been following. Uh, um, there's someone who said, uh, what should we do? Mm. I think... Uh, 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 the other thing, that's, uh, like you said, the power belongs to the, to the people. And um, if people were united with voice and the, they are able to identify the problems that are happening in them, ah, I've lost that one. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Yes, good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. I'm getting. Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Move away from the other phone. Uh, that's why you, 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 are, you are struggling to, to hear properly. Yes, Mr. Tired, I'm getting it now. Yeah, I'm please up. go ahead. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to answer to that person who said, he, somebody says we, uh, we, we have seen the weakness from the leadership of Anakachinda and what? Uh, what I can say is, people, let's not just uh, blame the leadership. We saw what Nakachinda said. He said, no, we, uh, for those people who want to, to resign and do what? Please, let's wait. He did not come to announce to say we want to, uh, people should resign or what? We have heard, no. He went to cool down those people wanted to resign. Councillors, mayors, and MPs. Please, let's not misquote people. This is what I heard from Nakashin. I, 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 I watched him. I watched him. No. Yes. He didn't come to stood. Yes. He came to cool down those who wanted that information to say, no, please, people, wait. Because you know they are cancel as in far away from where it is. Mm. They want to have that information together so that they can sit and plan for it. This is what he said. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Let's not blame the leadership of Mr. Naga. That man is brave and is powerful. He is able to talk every now and then. Except that it's only us people who can we know we, we we need to to depend on one another. If someone is on the street, there must be someone again. And again, there must be someone so that at least they can make a group. If someone is talking, there must be someone who is also talking to back up what somebody is, is, is 
saying. That's how it is. No, thank you. I honestly didn't hear, um, I didn't watch uh, um, what Nagachinda said. I didn't watch it. Um, I'll look for it and hear what, uh, what he said. And then I'll, I'll discuss also this issue, the implication of this. If uh, the PF members withdraw or resign, what is the implication of that? What can happen? Um, uh, I will discuss that uh, at, at an open time. Uh, first, let me let me uh, uh, look around and see here what uh, what uh, what what was said. Yeah. Ah, it's a sad day, Monday. For me, I'm very sad. I'm very very sad. I I wish I could I could I could say more, but. For now, let me just leave it there. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Tomorrow is what? Tomorrow is to is tomorrow is, is Wednesday. Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow, especially after what will happen uh, at the courts. Uh, I'll monitor. I'll monitor what happen, What will happen at the court? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Um. So what I was saying was uh, that uh, it's just that uh, if us people we had that one voice, if, if they were to declare those elections for those MPs that have been uh, suspended, those those people in the constitution, I think we need just to stand with one voice. They should not just participate in the change. But I want to be I want to be so for that you have because you just reject them to say. I think the voice there is not to in the elections. That's the only answer that can answer to to what is happening. Uh, you know? So I, I, I feel for what is going on in our country today. We just need God's intervention and people to come together and with having one voice and use elections, people should be incited at the top not to go and participate in those elections. Because those ballot papers and everything, they are just taken at the civic center. People can go and court and leave them there. That's the, I think that's the way I feel if we were to go brutal. Yeah. No? So that's my, my, my view. No, thank you. Hello? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. What I would just say today. In Mingala to Shawa UPND, it's like you have a snake within the village, and this snake goes on eating everything in the snake in the village, forgetting that one day it will eat its own, it will kill itself itself. Because they today they think they are they are smarter than Zambians, but the Mingala to their foot in place, it will come and destroy them. And when it destroys them, they will have nowhere to go to because the Zambian people we are not blind, we are not stupid. And uh, we like for me, I'm looking at it to say, you know what? You you can only play smart when you think everyone is as foolish as you are. We cannot um there are so many things that you've said and outlined. And I like looking at it to say, like Bama Seo has got even the courage to say, I'll sue JJ. Did JJ invite you to go and visit him? And why is JJ the victim when JJ is supposed to be the person that we need to protect? All they were doing is to cover up their messes, and then now it comes out like JJ will say it. But anyway, all in all is Zambians, we have one Zambia to protect. Leaders come and go, but the people and sovereignty of our nation will always remain. We are the future to protect. And for me, don't give up. You are always on point. Yes, today, you, like every Zambian looks low, but I'll call upon all Zambians. How long are you going to say, no, we are a peaceful country when your democratic rights have been taken away? When the freedom that Wakaunda fought for is now being taken away by one selfish individual? No ways. 
Thank you, my chief. God bless you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. Mm, I can see that today you're not in the mood. You're not very happy. Ah, no, I'm not. I'm very disappointed. I'm exactly. telling you. And if I could, uh, to be honest with you, if I could express really what is in me, ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I'm feeling very bad. Mm. You see, my point, I want to put it up to be honest with you as well. Mm. You see, if we Zambians are going to sit down there and wait until 20, um, 2026 for the election, and looking at what has been happening in the past, let's look at the Malangi issue. Let's look at the Jeje issue. Let's look at the other PF, issues in court. PF case. These friends of ours, PPF case, mm. the guys have got no shame. Mm. They can do anything, even throw away whatever the judge is trying to say. Yes, it's true. It, I mean, there's nothing there. Mm. They don't have any shame. So mm. what makes us believe that during the election day, in, in 2026, that is that is that is that lady. Mm. Who, I mean, would declare somebody to say is a winner. Mm. What makes everybody think that so? Mm. If they've been throwing, I mean, if they've been not allowing in some areas during, I mean, I mean, during uh, PF, they were not allowing some of the people. I mean, some agents from other political parties mm. to witness the the, 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 the the counting of the ballot boxes. Mm. Now, what more now when they are in power? In are, power. They, are they going to be allowed mm. us mm. to actually be there, to, mm. to actually count? It's not going to stop anywhere else. Mm. So when people say, uh, H -H, I mean, 2026 change, yeah. they, are, they are just laughing, because they know that they will not change. The only way, the only thing that me are praying today from today, I've been praying from today, is I hope somebody can come up there and start a revolution. A people's, people's power. Let's move this thing out. From the ballot box, I can swear it will never work. We have to remove these guys by people's power. Somebody has to be brave enough to start a revolution. That's the only way. Ele elections, you can see today even at the at the Home Court. I mean, that was shameful. Yeah. Look at what happened in Parliament for the ninth thing. Shameful. Which government? Where? I mean, even in Congo, it can't happen where they don't have much of those things. Mm. But here it's happening. With everybody looking, everybody sitting there waiting. With all the lawyers we have got in this country. And you can even see that they are even now using those days, people that would come up and oppose were well, children from the youth, like the people from the Yunza. Today, because of the new allowance, they are taking Yunza to, to go and bull, bull ECU at the High Court. This, everything is just going to dogs, nothing else. It's going to work. We have to change this. We have to change now. But Manji Amangala too. To, um, to Mangalato, if things have to work. If we leave them to play Mangalato, we shall lose. So let's save Mangalato both, uh, both sides. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, good night, people.